Hey guys, it's Calvin from Raw Coding, and today I'll be showing you how to open and manipulate text files in Python. File handling is an important part of data analytics and machine learning. Python has several functions for creating, reading, updating, and deleting files. This is my folder. You can see that I have a Python program and a text file named buildings inside of it. Our text file contains the names of various buildings in London. To open up a file, we create a variable and we say open, followed by the file name in our folder and then the parameter that we want to use. There are four different methods for opening up a file. The parameter R is our default value when we open files. It opens the file for reading and returns an error if that file name doesn't exist. The A parameter stands for append. It opens a file for appending and creates a file if that file name doesn't exist. The W parameter stands for write. It opens up a file for writing and creates a new file if it doesn't exist. If we write an existing file, it will overwrite the information within the existing file. X stands for create. It creates a specified file and returns an error if that file name already exists. I'm going to show you how to open a file that exists in our folder. We'll create a variable called file. We'll say open followed by the file name and then the R parameter which stands for read. To print the file contents, all we have to say is print file dot read. Let's run our program. As you can see, it's printed the entire contents of the text file. To print the first line of our file, we can use the read line function. So all we have to say is read line instead of read. Let's run our program. It will only print the first line from our file. We can print a specific value from our file using the read lines function and an index value. To do so, we'll say read lines with an S and pass in an index value in square brackets. I'm going to say two in square brackets, run our program. It will print the third line from our file. I will now show you how to add content to a file using the append parameter. First, we add the append parameter to our open function. Then we add our new content. This new content will be a sentence saying, now this file has extra info. Backslash n displays our content on a new line. To read our file, we'll say open the file name and then the R parameter. We will then print our file content and we can use the close function to close our file once we're done. This is good practice. I'm going to run our program. As you can see, we've added some extra content to our file, which says now this file extra info. <laughs> I forgot the has, but oh well. I'm now going to move on to our next example. We can create a text file in Python using the W parameter. To do so, we'll say open followed by our new text file name and then the W parameter. I'm going to run our program. I'm going to check my folder if the hippo.txt file has been created. As you can see, Python has created a new file titled hippo. We can remove the file that we created in our Python program. To do so, we have to import the os library and then we can say os.remove and then our file name. I'm going to run our program and then check my file folder. And as you can see, the text file named hippo has been removed. In my final example, I'll be creating a program that reads a text file and removes duplicate lines. I've created a new file called animal D, which contains the names of various animals. We have two instances of giant horse and we've got two instances of giant hippo. We'll create a Python program that will remove these duplicate lines. To begin, we create a set which will hold unique lines. We use a set because sets cannot contain duplicate values. We create a variable called readText which will open the animald.txt file. We will pass in the read parameter into this. Then we create a new file using our Python program titled animal.txt which uses the write parameter. We then create a heading to tell the user what text the original file contains. We create a for loop which loops through the lines in the original file. We then print the contents of these lines, which will show up on the animald.txt file heading. We use an if statement to check if the line from the current loop in the for loop is not in the set we created at the top. If that line is not contained within the set that we created at the top, we write that line to our new text file called animal.txt, and then we add that unique line to our set. Once we've finished our for loop, we will close both text files. Finally, we will print the contents of our text file titled animal, which will only contain unique lines. I'm going to run our program. As you can see, the original text file contained two instances of giant horse and giant hippo. But our new text file that our program created only contains one instance of each. This concludes the introduction to file handling in Python. If you would like to learn more about Python, please do check out my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye bye.